Hello and welcome friends to my channel Effective Engineer. Now in this video we will learn about the vapor chamber. Now this is introduction. In recent years data processing performance of microchips such as CPUs in computers or mobile device or laptops have progressed dramatically resulting in significant increasing heat flux. Therefore advanced cooling devices are becoming more and more necessary in electronic industries. So cooling systems are essential for heat removal and if the working temperature of electronic components exceed the specific temperature limit then it causes the system failure so your electronic component or your electronic device will get damaged so for this we use the vapor chamber now vapor chamber is a two phase flow device used to spread heat from heat source to heat sink high conductivity plates are used to collect heat from larger area sources and spread heat for cooling vapor chambers are generally used for high heat flux application and it's a two dimensional heat spreading okay so why we use two phase uh, two phase flow device so when design is conduction limited in that case we use a two phase flow device okay so in conduction you have to move from one material to other so this thing increases the weight and size and uh, as you can see the day by day the world is moving towards the mini size uh, mini size and micro size day by day there is a optimization in shape size designs and weight so this vapor chamber uh, is really small in size its, its thickness is up to 3 mm so it can be adjusted and fitted anywhere so that's why uh, it has gained um, attention of, for the many researchers and day by day the more research is being done on the vapor chamber the second one it's a two dimensional heat spreading uh, as you know the standard heat pipe uh, in which the heat transfer is only along the axis of pipe and these uh, they are heat pipes are suited to cool discrete heat source but in this case there is a two dimensional heat spreading which uh, improves the overall heat performance heat spreading performance now uh, we will see the working of uh, vapor chamber now vapor chamber is a vacuum container with a weak structure lining the walls that is saturated with working fluid as a heat is supplied the liquid at that location vaporizes and vapor rushes to fill the vacuum when vapor comes in contact with the cooler surface it will condense releasing its latent heat of evaporation the condensed liquid fluid returns to heat source to the capillary or gravity force and ready to be vaporized again and repeat the cycle okay so i will show you the figure now this is the figure uh, this is the schematic uh, diagram so as i told uh, this is your heat source heat input so it can be anything like cpu or microchips above that your vapor chamber will be placed and above that your uh, heat sink will be there that is cooler surface and if you want more thermal uh, good thermal management then above that you can use the fins okay so uh, uh, for example let us take the uh, working fluid be water so it can be anything you can use anything but for example we will take the water so when it will uh, take heat uh, the water will vaporize it will go up it will fill the vacuum and then as it will come uh, with this cooler side it will get condensed and it will flow down through the uh, gravity or capillary force and again it will at the it will meet it will go in evaporator it will again take the heat it will vaporize it will again fill the vacuum it will uh, get touched in this cooler surface it will condense and again it will move down so this cycle will takes place okay so this is the actual uh, diagram uh, actual how actually the vapor chamber looks like this is your top cover this is top big structure this is there are copper pillars it might be there or it might not be it it, it is depend on the design so there are many types of vapor chamber like a group type or uh, you can say center type or there are novel types so if you want to go for in depth then you can also search for that now this is your bottom big structure and this is there is a bottom cover so this whole design is within 3 mm or up to 3 mm okay not more than that now these are the advantages of vapor chamber excellent heat spreading device so when it comes uh, in small size okay for small size it can, as i told it is up to only 3 mm not more than that so it can be adjust fitted anywhere but uh, these are really good and uh, vapor chambers have attracted the attention because of its uh, dimension so uh, in nanofluids you can't use nanofluids uh, within 3 mm because the particle clogging of nanofluid will take place so so in, in such situation vapor chamber is really good now the second point is vapor chambers are in direct contact with heat source decreasing total thermal resistance and improving performance so as i told you uh, in last study in figure 
uh, above the heat source they are directly kept okay so this decrease your thermal resistance and thermal resistance is really important thing okay so uh, as the thermal resistance will decrease then uh, convection heat transfer will be increased okay so due to this reason uh, this is very important point thermal resistance and many of many of the researchers are uh, there are still research is going on this thermal resistance in vapor chamber so if you are interested you can uh, go through the research papers and you will understand it more so due to this reason this is the second advantage of vapor chamber that as it is it, it is in direct contact with the heat source its thermal resistance is low and convective heat transfer is high now the third uh, last point due to the large and continuous surface area vapor chamber allows better isothermalization and reduce hot spot at interface okay so there are uh, large and continuous surface area so your evaporator area and your condenser area are in same parallel plane and they are large so there is uniform heat spreading okay so the hot spot uh, doesn't get created at the interface and uh, due to this life of the uh, vapor chamber is more okay so hot spots are eliminated so more chances that it will work more and it will not fail so this uh, this was all about the vapor chamber uh, this is uh, the vapor chamber is uh, has come um, uh, new and it has attracted many of the uh, attentions and it is really excellent uh, thermal management device so this was all about the vapor chamber i hope this this video was informative share this video and subscribe the channel thank you